is going on everybody poison is still here and today I got some really cool information regarding Modern Warfare 3 so I've been working on this series for a while um, regarding Modern Warfare 3 and the guns that are coming out and I know I have made a video previously saying that there are some guns that are confirmed but I basically said that there's a website it has some pictures and that's I kinda left it at that and so I have been working on a series where I take a picture of the gun I put it on the screen I also put the company, the country of origin, and the class type, and I will be doing a whole bunch of information on it in real life, comparisons to previous Call of Duties, and all that kind of stuff. So I've put a lot of work into this, and I really appreciate it if you guys left a like, and let's get started on the first episode, Assault Rifles. So for the first Assault Rifle, we have the ACR, which stands for Adaptive Combat Rifle. It is a very, very versatile gun used for a lot of situations it can be used for infantry and it can be used for close range to long range encounters it is currently produced in the USA by Remington and Bushmaster and has been in in use from 2006 till present and it is currently in use by the US Army so we see this gun return from Modern Warfare 2 and a lot of people know this gun in Modern Warfare 2 as the laser beam gun for its major lack of recoil but I quickly do want to say that the major lack of recoil wasn't because of the gun, it was because the developers chose to make it so. So just because we saw this gun being slightly overpowered in previous games does not necessarily mean that this gun will be very powerful in future games. It really is up to the co production company, which in this case is Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. So I'm really looking forward to using this gun again. I really did like it in Modern Warfare 2, and I'm definitely going to try it out in Modern Warfare 3 when it's out. And, uh, yeah, that's on to the next rifle. So for our second assault rifle, we have the AK-47. Now you see the long term up on the screen, which is Atamat Kalashnikov, and I'm saying that with a Russian accent because it's Russian. Kalashnikov is the last name of the guy who created it in 1947. And the gun that's created in 1947 that is still used 2011 says a lot about the gun. Because a gun that was created over half a century ago that is still in use today and still is considered one of the better assault rifles, even comparing with the modern ones, means that this gun is definitely good compared to what there was and what there is today. So uh, ever since it has been created, it has definitely earned its title. It's been manufactured by companies all over the world. But originally, it was created and used in Russia or the Soviet Union. And uh, it's been in most of the Call of Duties that I know of so far. And obviously, it's going to be back in Modern Warfare 3. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely going to try it out. And um, that's pretty much it. Let's go on to the next assault rifle. Now, for the next gun, the SCAR-L, you may be a bit confused. I did not misspell, nor did I mispronounce the title. It is actually the SCAR-L. It is very similar to the SCAR-H in Modern Warfare 2, uh, they are pretty much the same gun except for a couple of differences which I will go over. They are both manufactured by FN Herschel and the country of origin is both Belgium and USA. And the difference between the SCAR-H and the SCAR-L is that the SCAR-H uses a 7.62 millimeter round which is about the size of a AA battery. This is the bullet that the gun uses and this is a very large bullet which is why the SCAR-H has such a short clip it's because the gun, or the magazines can't fit a lot of these bullets in one, otherwise they would be very heavy and very hard to move around in. The Skull L, however, uses 5.56 millimeter rounds, and this is drastically smaller, however, that means that you could fit more into a clip. So the clip size will go from 20 in a Scar H to 30 in a Scar L, and you could be either excited or sad about this, because even though there is more bullets in a round, that means that there will be less damage that the SCAR L does compared to the SCAR H. So uh, this is either a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you are looking for in a gun. But this is the fact about the gun is that it has a larger clip size but a smaller damage. So on to the next gun. So for our final assault rifle we have the M4 Carbine which is a very popular gun. However many people might not know the name. So that might seem like a bit of a contradiction, but let me explain. Um, the name M4 Carbine might not ring, ring a bell in a lot of people's heads. However, the image of the M4 Carbine, which is displayed on your screen currently, um, might definitely trigger some memories in a lot of people's brains. So um, 
this gun has definitely been used a lot in movies and it's definitely used a lot in current warfare so this gun is very well uh, put together it is the same exact thing as the M16 it's just a bit of a step up it's def usually used as a fully automatic however an M16 is usually used as a three arm burst as perfectly the same iron sights as they're both uh, manufactured by Colt and the country of origin of both is USA they look pretty much the same uh, they just kind of shoot differently and you'll see what I mean if they have both guns in the game which the M16 it should probably make a return it's been in most of the Call of Duties and the M4 has probably I think it's been in one or two so uh, we'll we'll see and um, whatever Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer choose to do to this gun we'll have to just find out in November 8th if I'm correct So really quickly, I want to mention before I get out of here that this is definitely not it for the series. There will be several more episodes, well, several more guns at least to upload, and episode 2 will be on SMGs. So as soon as this video on Assault Rifle hits 20 likes, I am uploading episode 2. So if you like the video, leave a like, and uh, if you want me to change something, add something, take away something, please leave that in the comment section below. It's there for you guys to tell me how I did on my videos and I definitely take all feedback into consideration and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys please just know out peace guys